that you send one back to me and say, got it. At least until we get this straightened out. All right? You do want us to send you one back saying So I'm sending you, you're going to get a form email that says you have received a referral. Check your, the portal. All right? You all have a new portal. So, check your email. The email is going to say, go to the portal. All right. So, let's see if I can get to the portal on this. Oh, just give it to you. Then you go to the next page. See our new thing? Just for us. Okay? We're going to click on that. I know it says it's a doctor. Jim, Jim was trying to be cute, so he, he got, gave us a little stethoscope. We're going to carry our stethoscopes now to our EOS business. Um, he got this fixed for us. I'm not, I'm not criticizing anything he did. All right, so. Username, capital letters, all the way across, specialist. Okay? Password. Is this written down? Yes. Yes, it's on the orange page. Yeah, don't keep writing. Password is contact within five days. <laughs> I need to change that to three days, but I didn't do it. Alice corrected me yesterday. Contact within five days. Let's see if I can find my Dang it. I left the cap locks on it there. Within three days. So it three or five? Okay. It is five right now. I screwed up. I should have made it three. Are you trying okay. to? So It'll if we change it, I will let you know. Oh. <laughs> See, the whole point was to remind you to get her done, right? <laughs> Notice that it is capital C. It's really hard not to put spaces. Dang it! <laughs> yes. I hate having to put passwords in. Contact with in five days. Okay. <laughs> All right. Put your Put your contractor number in again, okay? All right, and this is what's going to come up. Read it, see it, everybody can see all right? All right, it says enter, acceptance, visit, no visit, dates. View intake information. All right, so what we're going to do, is we're going to go into the enter one, all right? This is a trial one. Already your name is going to be in there and the date that I assigned it to you. You fill out, all you've got to do is specialist acceptance date. 
and you type in the date that you accepted it. Okay? Then you're saving it. You're backing out. Go back in. I'm sorry you have to re-enter everything, but you know once you enter it, you're okay. Then you're going to view intake information. You're going to click on that. There's your intake, entire intake with their last name. Everything's on there. Now, it's your choice whether or not you print that or you save it in your computer. But this is what I normally would be mailing to you, okay? Remember, it looks like that? Okay, so you guys can save those and keep a file of EMOS intakes or just go ahead and print it. It's up to you. I don't care if you, if you have a hard copy. You know, that's, that's your organizational skills, okay? But it's here, it's in, the, it's in your database. All right, so we're going to print that if you want to. What's the next step? Go ahead and go to the, um, you accepted it, you went and got your, okay. Now you're going to go back and, okay, I can't go back. Can I go back? Yeah, go back to the contractor portal. <coughs> Ready? You're going to go to contractor documents. You're going to go to general. Everybody with me? You're going to scroll down to get to the EHOS part. Okay. I would, we haven't deleted the PDFs off of here yet. We're still trying to determine what we're going to do. But here is the contact log. I would suggest that you go ahead and, you know, write up a contact log or print up a contact log just in case you don't get them and then you have that record. But it, you do have, however it works best for you. But we, if, if you don't end up getting them and you can only remember two of the times you called, I really need to know that you tried them more than twice. Okay? But that's not the that's not fillable. Uh, the P I, I opened that one because, but see, there is a PDF one. And I need to have her change that to a. There you go. So you can either keep it in the computer and go and fill it out. I don't care. Just try to keep track of, of your contact attempts. All right. So then. You also are going to go to the home visit report, and this is the one that I just showed you, but I, I corrected it yesterday. We forgot to put their telephone number and whether or not they could be text, texted it. All right, so there you go. You're going to print, you're going to, you don't have to print that up right now. I've got it in here to print up, but as far as I'm concerned, you can wait until your visit's finished to come back and fill it out at the computer. Whatever works for you. I'm trying to reduce paper and reduce steps, but if you need to print it, do it hard, and then come back and enter it, I don't care. Right, Ellen? Um, when you fill it with that, you can type it in. You save it and then send it to you with an email attachment? Yes. Or it goes automatically into the database? No, you have to send it to me an email. We're not quite there yet. Yeah. So you need to save it and email it to me. Okay? All right. So you've done your report. You've done your home visit report. Okay? Then you need to um, do your... You, can, you guys, on these instructions, I kind of spaced out and I forgot that you have all the G, GED, you know, the... The Eddie pink paper, you don't have to print that up. It's going to be in the book. Okay. So cross that line out, okay? Where it says print the GEHDI report. You don't have to print that. That's in the book. I got all I got all squirrely and thought, oh my God, we gotta print this, we gotta print that. 
No, you don't. It's in the book. Uh-huh. Oh, and the that you just brought up, that we can go in and print the information. Right. I can't see from here. What's the left-hand column number? 17. 17. It's, it is uh, 1025.17. Okay. That's your home visit report. And that's what you're going to email to me. All right. You have finished your visit, right? We're going to return to the contractor portal. Got it? You're going to go to your EHOS specialist page. Put in your contractor number again. Now here we are. You're going to go back to the first column. And you're going to put in visit date. If you were not able to make the visit and you have sent me the contact log, you need to put in no visit date. Okay? If you emailed me the report, put it in that you emailed it to me, okay? Because I can get in the back door and I can look to see. She emailed that to me? Where is it? You know? Okay. No, it's right here. Report, email, date. Put it right there. So you want it written out, all three words. No visit date. No, no, no I just want it's your not, date. No, you just no, want, we have no visit date. Right. We want all the words. That, no, no, no. no. Yeah, no. It's up there. There's, right here it says visit date. It says visit date. Underneath it, it says no visit date. And then under that, it says EHOS report email. Okay? So you're going to fill out the, at least two of those. Well, yeah, because you're either going to email the contact or the email, or the home visit report. Okay, Lisa. So no visit date would be if you set a date and then you didn't save them? No. No visit date is the date that you send me a contact log and says I give up. That you send the contact log. Thank you. Okay? That's, it should just be written I give up date. Yeah. I give up date. All right? So, you no. have, I, I guess I kind of jumped around here. Is everybody still with me? I'm going to say this about many times you try to contact you, if you forget, you're doing it on your phone like I am, like, you can go back and look and see when you try to call me. Exactly. Yeah, if, you have, if you have that on your, your uh, cell, if you're using your cell, yeah, for sure. Okay, any? Yeah. We were just talking about what's the acceptable I give up, Hannah, what do you uh, we have to give up in 21 days, right? 30 days. So unless we have 30 days. No right, 30 days sitting in a contact box. And I know that's frustrating, but but that's what we that's the timeline now. Okay, just a second, Lisa. Um, acceptance date. Sorry, I'm writing something else down. The acceptance date is just the date that you look at your email and see that that's you've been right. assigned. Right. And you okay. accept the email you got. Right. You yeah. got the email. You went, you get, went to this site, and it should be within 24 hours of me sending it. That's the plan. Terry? So we find them, we contact them, we set a date, but it can't be for 3 or 4 weeks. That's all right. That's okay. Email me and tell me that. And I'll that? put it in, their child, in the child's folder. What about in the Yes, and you can put things in the notes, definitely. That might be even a better place rather than just to email me. Put it in the notes. On the bottom, you have notes. On the very bottom, and you can access that. I don't have a visit day. I do have a time. I right. Yeah, well, I that was send that yet because I'm not. No, it's already. Pretty no, good. you're just putting it into the portal. Okay. You don't have to send that to me. You're going to go down to notes, and you're going to say, visit is scheduled for... September 15th. Due to maybe surgery or right. Due to the surgery or um, 
they have an audiological appointment, blah, blah, that I'm going to see them after that. Okay? You just put it in the notes. That's better than emailing me. I'm used to on the lesson plans, if you put in information and you say it's still there, but I noticed on here when I put in my visit date and I could save, it disappeared. The record is no longer listed on my... Because I haven't given you any referrals. Oh, I have some. That's not good. Have I put two in there already? And I put my visit date, like once No, you have. And I put in tomorrow. Because it's a future date. Oh, you can't do a future date. Okay. You have, the visit date is put in after you make the visit. Okay. Okay? The visit date is put in after you make the visit. If it's in the future, you put it in the notes. Okay. I get the referral, I accept the referral, I have three days to contact the family. If I do not get the family, if I am unable to make contact within the three days, I send in my contact log? No, no. You put it in the notes. You say, I have attempted to contact the family, no response at this time, I will continue Date your note. So those notes are running those. Right. For instance, I have a family right now. I set up an appointment and they couldn't make, make the appointment. Uh -huh. And I'm having trouble getting another appointment. Right. So, put, uh, it put it in the notes. Exactly. I'm date that I'm contacting parents exactly. several times. That'd be perfect. Okay. But you need to make a note within three days. Yes. Of something. But just something. That on this page. That's I'm saying that today. You know what I'm going to say next week. I don't know, but that's what I'm planning. I'm, we're hoping that that's the way it could work. Okay. Clarification: Did you say your give up time was 21 days or 30 days? 30. 30. Okay. You're supposed to do the visit by 21 days if you can. All right. So we're going to do a couple of these together. All righty. Terry Winters. Let's pull up. Terry, do you want to come up and do it? To do what? Come here. Pull yours. I thought I was in trouble. No. Wrong. No, you're not in trouble. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Can you put in your number there? Don't block it. I'm going to block it until she gets through. There's a plan. You got it? All right. So, Terry has... Uh, she has a new new, new EHOS visit. It's Ellie Phillips. So, she's going to go to the far left corner. And she's going to click on it and accept it today. Are you going to accept it today? Absolutely. Okay, so go to the acceptance day. What's the day? 13. Okay. Save it. And you're done for that part now. Now you're going to go in, you're going to go into your closet and pick up one of the books that you take home today, all right? And you can go ahead and print the home visit report if you want to, but you don't need to. You can print the intake, that's what you want to do. You want to save the intake. Save the intake. Right, so you can get back in if you want to. Can I get back in right here? Yeah, get back in. Put your number in again. Right. That's right, yeah. Nope, yeah, you can type in your type in your number again. And then but yeah, secret number, sorry. Right. You weren't fast enough. Oh all right. So see her accepted state is in there. The other ones are old ones, okay? And that's why there's you know, she already was doing those.
So this is from this date forward, or May 11 forward. Right? So go to the, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. So she's saying she's going to save it so she can reduce the paper. Yeah, I'll save it because I'm trying to. So she Yeah. So she would save it into her into a file, and you can have a file called EHAS referrals or EHAS intakes or whatever. So if she clicks save right now, she's going to create. Cannot save that. Right. Okay. Cannot save that. Yeah, I think I think you need to go ahead and open it. So I'll open it. Yeah, right. Because you have to download it. See that blue arrow there? Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Save as. It's it's if you're gonna do a save as, you need to have it open. Yeah, save as. Bot. 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 No. Bot. 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 Say that. Say that. Okay, and then you just decide where you want them. Okay? All right, we're going to do another one. No, we're good. We're good, but you know that you have one. And it's a, that's a legitimate referral. <laughs> Got it. And you Got it. Yeah, you haven't even gotten emails yet. Okay. All right. Uh, Jane, do you want to be on the spot? Do you want to come up and do one or not? Sure. Do you guys feel like you know this? Is this redundant or do you want to keep doing a couple yeah, more? Yeah, do one more. Yeah. Okay. I need to practice. Yeah. <laughs> so let me get you out of here. Thank you. 